Hello and welcome to week number 34 of the 2024 Baking Challenge. This week, it's bread, kind of. It's, <laughs> I know it's bread, my brain knows it's bread, but I take one look at it and I'm like, that's not bread, but it is and it's delicious and it's focaccia, focaccia, focaccia. I don't know, I looked up the pronunciation. I think I'm saying it right. It's supposed to be incredibly easy, particularly this recipe. So gather your ingredients and let's bake. First things first, you are going to need a nine by 13 baking pan. I have this one, it's going in the oven. We have to prepare that pan with some spray. Um, you know I love my spray. And then in addition to the spray, you're putting two tablespoons of olive oil in here, right? Two tablespoons, yep. And you're just gonna drizzle that across the bottom. So what this does is, so the spray keeps the bread from sticking, but the olive oil gives the bottom crust a, kind of a crunch to it, supposedly. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna set this out of the way over here. All right, in your bowl, you are going to have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of instant yeast, one and one fourth tablespoons of table salt and your seasonings. Now, King Arthur recommended pizza seasoning. I don't know what's in that. I have garlic, I've got onion powder, I've got basil and I've got white ground pepper. So those are my seasonings. I'm very much going with a garlic bread kind of deal. It also, the recipe also calls for cheddar powder. If you're using that, great. I'm not using that. I never did pick up any chowder, chowder, cheddar powder. Gosh, to, today is just hard for speaking. It's still early. You are also going to need a cup and a half of warm water. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in, as well as three tablespoons of oil. And then we're just gonna mix all this up. I'm mixing mine by hand still because I haven't made it into the city to get my, um, to get my mixer fixed. So, so backwards. You're gonna need a stiff spoon if you're mixing this by hand. Luckily, I've got one of those somewhere. Nothing like a wooden spoon. Gonna get that all mixed up. It's gonna be easier if you're using a mixer. I think it says like one minute of mixing at a high speed. I am not going to be a high speed doing this by hand, but that's okay. It's gonna be a sticky batter, so don't think that you need to add more flour if it's sticky, we don't. That's kind of the consistency that we are looking for. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if mine is sticky enough. It smells really good though. <laughs> it smells like garlic. I'm not mad about it. All right, it's a sticky dough in here. Turns out I can mix the dough just fine without a mixer. So it's sticking to the sides. It's a sticky dough. You are going to whoop, <laughs> throw everything around. Okay, next up we are scooping the batter into the pan. <laughs> it is so sticky. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, this is just definitely sticky. Getting all of my bread dough out might be an issue. I'm gonna go get a different spatula. <laughs> Things I love about this recipe is that this is a type of bread that you can Make as plain or fancy as you desire. 
I have seen people do all kinds of pretty stuff on the top. Uh, let's see here. All right, it doesn't say that we need to spread it out, but I am gonna spread mine out just a little. Once your dough is in the pan, you are going to cover it up and set a timer for 60 minutes and you're gonna walk away. About halfway through that 60 minutes or however long it takes your oven to preheat, you are going to preheat your oven to 375 degrees, okay? Words are difficult today. <laughs> we'll get through it, we always do. I will see you back in an hour. So it's been an hour, voila. The dough did rise significantly. It's not all the way in the corners, that's okay. You're gonna take clean hands and you're going to gently poke some holes in it. It's very sticky, so you don't have to go too deep. Um, I'm just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Now, I probably shouldn't have put the seasoning inside because it says to drizzle with olive oil and then sprinkle with your seasoning. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to drizzle with the olive oil. This is the part that I'm not great at is lightly drizzling. Oops, see, I tend to, tend to get a little carried away. <laughs> um, Honestly, I might just drizzle and then stick my fingers in it again. I don't know. Okay, good enough. And then I'm going to top my bread with some salt. There. Probably could have added some flakier salt. That's okay. This is going to go into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until it's golden brown. All right, so set your timers, keep an eye on it. I'll see you back then. The whole house smells amazing. Um, this smells like a spaghetti dinner in here, but without the spaghetti, because I think I added a lot of garlic, but we're gonna try this and see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good bread. <laughs> Mm. It's um, kind of spongy. It has very good flavor. It's not dry. It's not overly oily either. I think my seasoning is missing something. I'm not sure what. I can definitely see putting some butter and some cheese and toasting this and it'd be just like fantastic with spaghetti or some kind of pasta. I'm going to call this a winning recipe and one that I'm going to play around with, I think. Well, that's it for week number 34. I hope that you had the opportunity to bake along and I hope that your bread turned out as amazing as mine did. If you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button below. I put out one of these videos every single weekend on Saturday mornings. You should also head over to the Facebook page because every Wednesday mornings, okay, let's be real sometimes more often lately, it's been Thursdays. Um, I will put out the ingredient list and the name of what we will be baking that weekend. That gives you hopefully plenty of time to get your shopping done if you'd like to bake along. I am going to go um, eat some of this bread and think about what I can make for dinner that will go along with it and I will see you next weekend.